The height of two men, the weight of four, the strength of sixteen! Sir Boris, finest swordsman in the world, and his brother, Sir Morris. Not the finest swordsman in the world, but the most enthusiastic. And their noble pets, Sir Horace the Dog <coughs> and Sir Doris the Hamster, the Big Night! In the royal apartments of Barovia, Princesses Lucy and Loretta enjoy an informal moment with their father, King Otto. Come on, Piggy, catch! Bad Piggy! Oink, oink! <coughs> Yes? What is it? The royal accounts, sire. Well, what about them? It seems that a sum of money has been credited by mistake to the Barovian Beautification Fund. A rather large sum. Well, uncredited. That's just it, sire. It's been spent. Spent? On what? Wonderful work, Master Clockmaker. I had expected a far humbler clock for Village Barazzo. Uh -huh. Mr. Mayor, I can modestly say that the Barazzo clock is my life's masterwork. The king favored you with a surprisingly generous grant from his beautification fund. My word, a mechanical King Otto. A time for joy, the hour is three. Come nights and chime the bell with glee. How much? It is a magnificent clock, sire. Yes, and it stands in Village Barazzo, home of the big knights. I think it's time I paid this Barazzo a little visit. The king! Coming here! Hooray! I'm sure you agree how blessed we are by a royal visitation to mark our newfound civic importance. This gaudy clock will bring a judgment on us all. Oh, don't be silly. The, the king, king simply, simply wishes to see our splendid clock for himself. His highness cannot fail to marvel at it. The clock's exquisite and delicate mechanism will run smoothly for generations to come, barring any unforeseen cataclysmic event. Morris, don't overwind it. I do know what I'm doing. I'm very good with mechanical things. Miss. It's time to tone the tone will... And I vow to you, I will not rest until whoever is responsible for this outrage is given a fair trial, found guilty, and thrown! Excuse us, so chap. Uh, may we have our rock back, please? <laughs> Your lordships. As always, it's a great honor to receive you in our humble town. Uh, I hope our clock uh, didn't damage your splendid rock in any way. No, it's all right. The clock's wrecked, though. Oh, well, these things happen. <laughs> you know what this means? Now the king will come all this way for nothing. Mm -hmm. There is one possibility. By chance, I have an even more exquisite timepiece. In the circumstances, I could let you have it for 10,000, Drina? What? Tell you what, let us help you out. Very well. Uh, we accept your more than generous offer. It's decided then. Oh! We'll repair the clock ourselves. True to their word, the big knights set about repairing the intricate clock mechanism with all their knightly skill. Our work is done. The Lorenzo clock is as good as new. <laughs> your gracious lordships, uh, how will we ever repay your kind efforts? Bounce your corner! It is an offense to the eyes. <laughs> the king cannot fail to be astounded. Thanks, old chap. But the best bit is when it strikes the hour. It's Freya Clock! It's Freya Clock! Nothing machines like better than a good winding. Freya Clock!
Amazing. And that happens every hour? Uh, not quite. It may need a slight adjustment. If you'll excuse us for a moment, I think we'd better get our mics back. What a dump. It's hard to believe this is modern Barovia. Will we be ambushed, Daddy? Certainly not. The countryside may be ugly, but there's nothing to fear. Excuse me! Have you seen two <laughs> clockwork knights? The machines from hell? Yes, they passed this way, curse them. <laughs> what time was that? Five o'clock! Five o'clock! <laughs> Strange woman. I think we're lost. We might be captured by pirates and shut in a dark tower, and then we'd have to fight our way out. <laughs> oh, stop it! Children! The big knights! What luck! Escort us to Barazzo at once. Daddy, I don't think those are the big knights. They're imposters! Nonsense. Well, Sir Morris? Sir Boris? They're going to say something. About time. Six o'clock! Six o'clock! Stay back. I'm warning you. Not a step closer. All right, but keep away from the car. If you so much as scratch... There they are! Morris, prepare yourself for a shock. I'm afraid it may now be our painful duty to destroy our own creations. Really? Oh, all right then. Oh, Daddy, it's the real big night to our rescue! <laughs> This one's putting up a fight! Oh, sorry, Boris. I didn't recognize you for a moment. Easy mistake, old chap. Cool! That was brilliant! Yes, well done. Who knows where those vile machines came from? Actually, Your Highness, we... May my brother and I have the honor of escorting you to Village Barazzo, sire? The king will behead us all! Shut up, you fool! This, this is, is an emergency. emergency. Bring me your savings, every last credit. We have no choice but to meet your price for the other clock. <laughs> yes, but unfortunately, the price is just doubled. <gasps> Village Barozzo is deeply, deeply honored by your presence, Your Majesty. Yes. yes, yes, it's been a rather trying journey. Just show me the clock. It's eight o'clock! It's eight o'clock! Cursed thing. It took every last crack we had. Oh, Daddy, it's beautiful. We want one just like it. Can we have one, Daddy? Please, can we? No, no. Oh, please, Daddy! Well, perhaps you can have this one. Daddy did pay for it. Let's ask Mr. Mayor what he thinks. Ah, uh, nothing would make our humble village happier, sire, than if your delightful daughters would accept our clock as a gift. Hurrah! 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 Hurrah!